Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. Are you looking to pinch pennies in War Thunder? Do you want to turn the economy of War Thunder to be in your favor? If so, this video is for you. In this video, I'll be going over 5 tips and tricks, though really there's more tips and tricks than that, on how to save Silver Lions in War Thunder, which is essentially the same as earning Silver Lions. As they say, a penny saved is a penny earned. The tips on this list are a mix of small and large changes that will end up saving you tons of Silver Lions over time, and will save you Silver Lions regardless of if you play air, ground, or even naval. With that said, if you enjoy this video or learn anything from it, please consider subscribing as it helps me tremendously and I come up with content like this fairly regularly. With that said, let's get into the video. Now for tip one, this is a classic and may even be something that you've heard of before, but it's a huge way to save Silver Lions. Don't auto repair. This might seem silly, but unless you're playing all the time or you're just playing one vehicle or a lineup in particular, if you remove auto repair, your vehicles will repair for free over time. Of course, it tends to be a lot quicker the lower the BR of the vehicle is that you're using, but it can still save many thousands of silver lines per vehicle. Further, you can put cruise skill into the repair speed skill that will substantially improve your free repair speed of all vehicles on that cruise slot. For for tip 2, remove some of the modifications on vehicles that you end up not using. Specifically, if you're not going to use ability modifications, such as UAV drones or even in-flight firefighting, simply remove them from your vehicle and you will save hundreds or potentially thousands of Silver Lions per death. Heck, by simply removing night vision and UAV from my object 685, I save around 450 Silver Lions per full repair. These savings increase substantially as you get into even higher BR. Though all BRs of vehicles can benefit substantially from having an audit like this, boosters are another good example, as they can lead to some aircraft having their wings rip off more easily, and they oftentimes cost hundreds of SL per repair. If you find yourself dying due to wing rip often, remove the boosters and you'll save some money and potentially even die less often. Even in naval mode, removing a scout plane if you will never use it will oftentimes save upwards of 1,000 silver lines per death. As a side note to this, I'm not saying to remove remove parts all willy-nilly, as things like tracks and brakes can be extremely helpful in ways that you might not notice readily, but more so take a look at the things that cost you Silver Lions that you never use and make a decision on whether you truly need those or not. And in regards to what I said about the in-flight firefighting, of course on some things like bombers, they can benefit extremely from that. Same with things like the Su-25, the A-10, basically things with high survivability. But if you're noticing that you're being destroyed all the time in one shot and it doesn't matter if you use your in-flight firefighting or not and you just die regardless you may as well remove it at least if that's the situation that you find yourself in all the time because again even if you don't use your in-flight firefighting and you die you still spend all the money that it will cost in order to actually have that mod in the first place. So it could be three, four, five hundred SL. Doesn't matter if you use it or not. If you die, that will add on to the cost of the full repair. For tip number three, don't drop bombs and use ammunition needlessly. Of course, some shots are worth it, especially if you feel like an enemy may be within view and they end up not being where you thought, but just wildly shooting your ammo or dropping bombs on low reward targets is not useful and will end up costing tons of silver lines over time. For example, don't drop a large bomb on an unarmored howitzer or vehicle in RRB if you can help it. If you're about to die, you may as well get something out of it, but that is only as the last resort. Again, much the same goes for ground combat. Unless you're using a stock shell, your ammunition likely costs over lions. In lower tiers, these costs tend to be anywhere from around 5 to 50 silver lions per shot, which admittedly isn't all too much, but it varies wildly depending on the shell size, shell type, and BR that you're playing. Many shells around 9.0 BR cost in excess of 200 silver lions per shot and have a quick reload, which will end up costing you tons of silver lions very quickly if you aren't careful. While I'm not saying to only use ammunition or bombs on guaranteed kills, as that is not only impossible, but stupid, what I am saying is to clean up your shots. Even saving a shot or two in ground RB per match, especially in higher tiers, can end up saving you thousands or tens of thousands of silver lions extremely quickly, especially when paired with other tips in this video. Much the same can be said for air RB with bombs and rockets, but even more so for air AB, as in-air reloading is a thing in that mode. Heck, naval battles might even be the worst offender of this, as currently high BR ships have shell costs anywhere from 10 to 15 SL per main gun, 
and oftentimes have 8 to 10 of those guns firing simultaneously every 20 to 30 seconds. With secondary cannons having optional shells that can cost 1 to 2 SL per shot and fire much more rapidly. With likely hundreds of shells being fired per match, this ends up being a huge money sink if you're sloppy. And, kind of like with the last tip, on a side note to this tip, if you can reload ammunition in a match at an airfield or at a base cap point, you'll make it so that the game doesn't charge you for that shell when the match is over. If you have nothing else to do in a match that's basically already won, you may as well just repair and rearm again if possible. For the fourth tip, this one's pretty straightforward, but may require a little bit of patience. Wait for sales in order to purchase vehicles, especially those that you do not plan on needing or playing immediately. This is absolutely huge and will save millions of silver lines for anyone that has vehicles in the higher tiers that they want to purchase, but again, don't feel the need to play immediately. These sales come around typically every few months and will typically be 30 or 50% off and will oftentimes be SL vehicles of all nations, though of course some nations have their own sales where maybe they have 30% off of all their vehicles, of whatever the case may be, but these are the times to wait for. And if you want to know when these sales are, I do have a calendar video that I will try to link down below. If I, for whatever reason, don't link it, let me know in the comments, or you could simply go ahead and search War Thunder Calendar, and you'll probably find my video. In it, I basically go over when all the sales and other major events end up being typically on the War Thunder Calendar, so it is a pretty useful guide if I say so myself. But with that said, for tip number five. This one is kind of a two-parter because I don't know if either of these tips is strong enough to stand on its own. First, don't let boosters expire. Simply using a booster for a single match even if it's one of those 10 or 20 match boosters and is only 10% increased silver lines per match can end up giving you thousands of silver lines extra especially if you use a premium vehicle. If you let that expire you're simply giving up free silver lions. For kind of part two on an unrelated note don't just expert all of your crews to vehicles all willy-nilly. While it does improve the effectiveness of vehicles in battle you should perform a cost benefit analysis. For example with tank if you have an autoloader on any given vehicle, that automatically makes the loading skill for the crew, of which is one of the main reasons to expert and possibly ace a crew in the first place, it takes that out of the question. Of course, there are other things to consider as well, such as turret traverse, field repair, vitality, and more, or whatever the equivalent might be if you play naval, but not every tank will be impacted by every skill. In much the same way, if you're flying an aircraft that isn't capable of pulling many Gs in a turn, nor does it have defensive gunners, maybe you should reconsider experting that vehicle. And now, even though I've pretty much already given over the five tips I initially said I would, I have even more, at least in the form of bonus tips, that are kind of related to this. Now, this one isn't so much about saving money as it is about earning it, but you want to make sure that even if you don't buy Battle Pass, you take advantage of the free rewards, of which are oftentimes hundreds of thousands of Silver Lions. If you're playing War Thunder for free, you may as well take advantage of everything that you can. And for the final bonus tip, as it's more about lineups than anything, which is why it's just a bonus tip, don't just go into a tier of a match that you have no experience playing. If you're trying to play top tier, but get roasted constantly, it's a surefire way to lose tons of Silver Lions. Work your way up to top tier through the regular tech tree, or at least get somewhat close, and then start playing it. Even I struggle at top tier on occasion, as I'm sure many other YouTubers and even experienced players do as well, and I used to get whooped constantly back when the XM1 was my best vehicle. You want to learn to take it slow and learn how vehicles at different tiers play by playing them and by fighting against them. Basically, I'm saying that by not jumping headfirst into a BR or a tier that you're not familiar with, you can save yourself a lot of stress which in turn will save you tons of silver lions but with that being said thanks so much for watching please consider liking commenting and especially subscribing if you learned anything from this video i greatly appreciate it and it helps my channel to grow but again thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone